Welcome to the start of the game here between Fitzroy, fourth on the ladder, and Footscray, 11th, but separated by just one game. And a first kick for the match by Clayton, up towards centre-half forward, Brian Cordy for Footscray. Towards the outer wing, and an excellent mark taken by Cronin. Rick Kennedy won the toss for Footscray and elected to kick uh, left to right, but the breeze probably across the ground, favouring uh, blowing over towards the outer flank. And a fine mark taken uh, on the forward line. by Murray Rance, down towards uh, half forward, 50 metres out, stumped away by the Fitzroy defence, there's Kapler 21, ball close to the line, and goes out of bounds, and will have a throw in, it's about 60 to 65 metres out, Footscray in attack. Well, just for a change, there's not much wind at the Western Oval, and the best side will definitely win this match, Foster tries to break through, Fitzroy through Blakey, kick it out towards the wing, the boundary line, looms up as Kapler tries to control the ball for Fitzroy and will have a boundary throw in between wing and half forward slightly favouring the Bulldogs who are kicking to the Geelong Road end of the ground and the Lions of course to the Barclay Street end his chance for Footscray's colour he kicks it off the ground towards centre half forward ruse there for Fitzroy but the umpire decides that he should bounce and on this occasion it's umpire Woodhead and his counterpart this afternoon umpire Robinson the tap won by Rendell, fumbled by Foster, Kapler off the ground, over the centre circle it goes, chance for Fitzroy here, and uh, gathered by, well, well played Ricky Kennedy to burst straight up the ground and get it going Footscray's way. Beautiful football, but a fumble inboard, and eventually the kick by Satsaris to centre half forward, clears the pack, Liberatore at the back, shepherded off beautifully by Cullen, Petraglia. inside Petraglia it is, inside 50, but his kick was poor, didn't hook it back far enough, and out of bounds in the forward pocket. Interesting to note that Rick Kennedy is playing at centre-half back on Gary Keane, and Peter Foster is playing centre-half forward on Paul Ruse. Gary Pert to kick it in for the Lions. Usually a good kick, and this one's no exception towards half-back. Chance for the Bulldog, Rance can't break clear, McGuinness picks up the crumbs, carrying on the good form from Wednesday night, Petraglia shoots for goal, not a bad looking kick but just off line, and Angelo Petraglia kicks the first score of the match, and we've played just two minutes, the Bulldogs one behind, Fitzroy yet to score. Burt kicks into himself and gains a bit of ground, and his kick lands 70 metres from goal, fumble there by Rendell at the front ruse, but taken away beautifully by Foster, and a great kick to the goal square. Pert well positioned, and takes a fine mark on Beasley. Plays on, Gary Pert, just his second game for the season. A beautiful kick, out to uh, Pekin, and the hand pass to Wynn, centre wing, Thomas, and Fitzroy into attack for the first time. Stephen streaming down the ground, can't take the mark, under pressure from Ford, and the ball out of play, on the full, off the boot, and Fitzroy's free kick, and it goes to Stevens, Brett Stevens. Stevens over the top to Pekin, who's run well. His kick is a poor one. Lands in Fitz Fitzroy's forward area. Barwick shoots for goal. It's tapped over the line and out of bounds by young Eppleston. And we'll have a boundary throw in only three or four metres around from the Fitzroy goal. There's a few of the lads enjoying the festivities of the afternoon in the crowd. Stevens competing with Andrew Purser, playing his 100th. Purser's hand pass intercepted. McIver gets it back, a centering kick near the goal square. Eppleston charged straight at it. Bumped over by Stevens, and Eppleston will take the free kick for a high tackle. Promising young player, Footscray, Greg Eppleston, from Wanron down near Yarram. Here's a chance for Pekin. Pekin's kick into the pocket. Punched away by the Footscray defence. Royal. Kick around the corner to half-back, Kennedy behind, Keane in front, chance for Kapler, Harris, Leon, right foot kick for goal, marked by Ford, Ford comes clear, tries to bounce, didn't work but his recovery was good, kicks to half-back, puts Gray a chance, oh, fickle bounce, Knight in there, now the handball from Clayton, goes to win, win, through set of half-forward, kicks it long to the front of the square, Persa. Good mark. Handballs it off to Ford. Ford's scrappy left foot kick picked up well by Brian Cordy. Cordy over the top. 
McGuinness under a little bit of pressure, but does it with a bit of class. Back with the right hand. Hand pass to Cordy. Cordy, long kick to the wing. High flyers required. It's over the back of the pack. Thornton the first to recover. Cullen the tackler. Through comes Laurie. Laurie kicks beautifully with the left foot and finds Clayton in the centre. And he hands it off quickly to Kaplan. Switches direction. Richard Osborne. Normally got better hands than that. And off the ground, it's kicked up uh, by Liberatore. Close to the wing. A Kiver. Missed with that one. Comes back to uh, Baxter. And he finds Wallace. Just forward of the wing. Stephen Wallace. Gee, went pretty close to the man on the mark. Scrappy old kick. But a good mark taken up the ground by Petraglia. Right on the 50 metre line. And with a breeze right to left. 50 would test him. He might have been lucky to get away with that, Drew, because that appeared to be touched off the boot as he kicked it when well, he ran close to the man so on the mark. the man on the mark, yeah. So Angelo Petraglia goes in short for Beasley, who led out in front of Perth and took an excellent mark. They haven't gained a lot of ground, and they've taken it out wider, closer to the boundary line. Breeze right to left from here. Aim it at about the right goalpost to be about the ticket. Simon Beasley looking for the first goal of the match. We aimed it well right, and it came back a long way, but not quite far enough. And a behind. Well, he's got a big job today, Simon Beasley. Gary Perts had the better of him in their past encounters. And you'll uh, have to really lift his game today if he's going to beat Gary Pert. Kick into half-back the member side of the ground. Handball out wide. Beasley can't control it, but he gets the handball wide. Liberatore throwing the ball, according to umpire Woodhead. And he was only three or four metres away, so Fitzroy will take the free kick between half-back and centre wing. Gary Pert. It's a free kick to a free Fitzroy, kick Fitzroy. Fitzroy. No, he's looking for someone to stand on the market there. Bright sun starts to break out now at the Western Oval. Not as windy here today as you often get it. Rance takes clean possession. Hand passes blindly. Taken by Wynn. His kick up short of the wing. Bounces through a couple to McIver. And good running by Fitzroy. Leon Harris. Into open spaces. Stevens, good gather. Went behind Osborne. Ford, well played. But Fitzroy again, McIver. Took a while to get rid of it. Kapler, Rendell. Left footer to centre half forward. Barwick in front. Good spoil by Baxter. And it comes away here to Tatsaris. To centre wing, Cullen. Oh, poor kick by Cullen off the left boot. Makes it hard for Rance. Taps back to Cullen. Just inside the line. He gets another kick up the ground. Gains another 30. McGuinness, brilliant. Forced to kick with the right foot in short. Looks for Beasley and finds him. Great lead by Simon Beasley. Our co-commentator Bernie Quinlan can see a tremendous duel between Simon Beasley and Gary Pert. Gary Pert having the better of the previous duels and here's Beasley with a shot for goal. 45 metres out. Right up in front of the square. Fitzroy trying to break clear. There's a bit of pressure on from Footscray, the, the forwards. But Fitzroy's kick towards the wing has been marked by McIver. McIver in towards the centre, marked by Keane. Keane feeds it off. That's Armstrong. He's kept going about 100 metres. And Armstrong's kicked to half forward. Thomas, number two, gains possession, ridden into the ground by Cordy. No whistle. Oh, and tapped away beautifully by Ford. And the ball out of play. And we'll have a throw in. Yes, yeah, good tackle by the uh, Footscray defender. I thought that Thomas may even have been uh, caught in position there, Drew. 40 metres from goal. Fitzroy in attack. Osborne. Nobody home for Fitzroy. Ford on his own, 20 metres in the clear. Ford kicks it wide, looking for Cullen. It was a poor kick by Michael Ford. And he had plenty of room, and it goes over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in some 70 to 80 metres around from the Fitzroy goal. Purser up over the top. 
pressure. Cordy gets his kick away and it falls into the hands of Andrew Purser playing his 100th game in only three and a half years. Kick up towards half forward. The mark was taken by Rance, but he gave a free kick away and it'll go to Fitzroy's lorry. He feeds it off quickly to Ruse. Ruse looks further forward to Rendell, takes the mark, and Matt Rendell, the big Fitzroy Ruckman, not to mess around. Kicks it towards centre half forward, looking for Barwick, but chipping in in front. A good mark by Thomas. Thomas plays on, kicks to full forward. Has the mark been paid? Yes. Much to the disgust of the Footscray fans. And the mark has been paid to Fitzroy, about 40 metres out to Stevens on a slight angle. But not too many problems confronting him here. No, the wind's not a big problem today out here at the Western Open, which is a pleasant change. So he'll be kicking from about uh, 40 metres out on a slight angle. It's a poor kick. It's offline. Perhaps should have capitalised on that chance. And Fitzroy 1-1-7. They lead by five points. The Bulldogs are two behinds. 13 minutes gone in the first quarter. And Kennedy kicks in and gets good distance. Purser there at ground level. Thomas gets it back. Intercepted by Cronin. On he goes to a Liberatore. And a running Footscray. Brian Cordy. Centre wing already. Into Royal. He's got a break on his opponents. But look at Kepler. Great pace. Caught him red hot. And the tackle by Rance. Looked a bit rough. No whistle. Now there's a push in the back. And it's a Fitzroy free to Kepler. What pace he showed there. That was unbelievable how he picked up Royal. Beautiful kick by Kepler towards centre half forward. Superb mark taken by Keane. Tried the handball. Now he's recovered well. A little bit too fancy. He's lost a shoe. Comes wide to Clayton. McIver caught with the football. Should be penalised and is. And Footscray supporters elated. One of their rare free kicks goes to Liberatore. Liberatore transfers play to the outer wing. Chance for Cronin. A oh, good interception by Fitzroy's Pekin. And hovering over the football, Cronin keeps it in. Umpire Robinson decides to bounce. Fitzroy leading seven points to two. Yeah, none of the Ruckman got near it. Ruse. Long kick to half forward flank. Keane is there. Thomas, number two. Hands it across to McIver. In trouble. And now Wallace for Footscray. He's kicked back to the centre wing. And uh, well gathered by Cullen. Playing his first senior game this year and just his second in the seniors for Footscray. A lot of pressure. Good tackling. Not pretty to watch. McGuinness off the ground. Gains a few metres. About 20. The ball out of play at half forward flank for a throw. -in. Rance doing the ruck work at the back ruse. Drops it at the crucial stage. Cronin. Foster. Looks in short. Pert and Beasley. Pert does it well. Good shepherding by Pekin. Pert tries to get it underneath. Now he has to force to tap it along the ground. There's a chance for Rance. He's well tackled by Wynn. And the boundary umpire signals that it's gone over the line. But, uh, perhaps Murray Rance a little fortunate there. And we'll have a throw in. Right on the 50 metre line. Rance knocks it Footscray's way, but it goes to Grant Laurie. He's kicked back towards the centre. And beautifully uh, played there by McIver. In he goes now to Armstrong. Up towards half forward, Barwick tapping on. Nobody there. Wallace. Well played by Stephen Wallace. Putting it out in front is good football. Patraglia. And now in he goes to Hanabry to centre half forward Foster. There was no mark paid. Gee, how many grabs you got to have? And now umpire Robinson says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. Come on, umpire Robinson. Well, Surely that was a mark. fashionable player, I reckon he would have got it. But Peter Foster's not the most uh, polished. He certainly is a goer. And 
if ever there was a mark, it was that one. It comes down to the ground, Fitzroy under pressure. Laurie kicks it clear, but it lands in the hands of Ford. And Ford for Footscray, in, right in the centre of the football ground here out at Bulldog Land. And that goes up towards centre half forward. Chance for McGuinness. Gets around, left foot shot for goal. Offline. Third behind of Footscray. Fitzroy lead by four points. Tony McGuinness kicked six here last week against the Brisbane Bears. A best on ground performance. Long kick in. That's gone 75 metres and by the time it bounces it'll be 100. Centre wing before anybody touched it. Great play. Comes to Knight. Up towards centre half forward. Barwick underneath the ball. Chance for Baxter. He's caught by Barwick and drops it. Play on says the umpire. It's flicked back here to Eppleston. And the kick out wide. And the mark taken by Hanabry. Likely looking customer. A few left footers in the Footscray side. Kicks close to the boundary line. It's over on the full. And the free kick will go to Fitzroy to be taken by their master centre half back in Paul Ruse. Keen flies from the back, can't mark. Wallace, a great hand pass, but a bit quick. Purser, under pressure. Thornton. Osborne may have actually uh, penalised the side there by stopping the run by Thornton. He certainly has now. He's given away a free kick and it goes to Eppleston. He stood his ground foot. well, the young fellow. He did. With the free kicks against Ross Thornton for a high tackle, a high bump. Take your pick. The kick went to the wing where a free kick has been paid to the Bulldogs' Rance. Rance, another left footer, up towards half forward. No mark taken. Ball close to the boundary line. The wind is certainly blowing towards that uh, outer side of the ground. And a lot of play in front of the coach's box for the Bulldogs. Chance for Foster. He can't break clear. Playing at centre half forward. Ruse at centre half back for Fitzroy. And we'll see a ball up. There's the uh, watchful eye of the Bulldog senior camp. Mo Michael Malthouse and Ted Whitten Jr. And Ray Walker, formerly of ABC fame. Clean possession here to Rendell. He'll take the free kick anyway. So quite a few players in this game. Backing up after the state match on Wednesday night. Interesting to see how they go. Thump to the front of the pack. Knight, 36. Keeps on going with it. Taking it over to that boundary line again. And you wouldn't want to know, it's out of bounds on the outer side once more. Commonly referred to as the Doug Hawkins wing. He'd be having a party so far. Lots of play on the outer wing in the first 20 minutes of the first quarter. Purser back to Tatsaris. Tatsaris a high ball towards half forward. No mark taken. Where are the crumb gatherers? Liberatore over to Cullen. Cullen at centre half forward. Does it well over the top. Chance now for Hannaberry. A little bit slow to get his foot to the ball. Into the pocket. The mark's been paid. Is it McGuinness? Well, it was a good effort, but uh, did he hold it long enough? Well, he could feel the floorboards here shaking because David Parkin didn't reckon he held it long enough. He went crazy just along from us. Is it David? I yes. Mean, I hear he makes a mess of the coach's boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking at it again, I don't think he held it long enough. McGuinness shooting for goal from only 30 metres out. Slight angle. Goal umpire moves across. It's through from behind. Footscray wasting chances there. Four behinds. Fitzroy, 1-1-7. And maybe that kick may have brought a smile to the face of the Fitzroy coach. Oh, I doubt if he doesn't smile very often, Robbo. <laughs> <laughs> Not too pleased with that one. Well, McGuinness has got off on the wrong foot today with two behinds. Knight thrown to the ground in the tackle. Real scramble there. Ford was it out of the pack. McGuinness a chance again. Gap being closed by Harris. McGuinness to Royal. Back to McGuinness this time. Going for the first goal for Footscray. And he's done it. Have they struggled for that for about 22 minutes? He's found the answer to this goal kicking. He only has to kick it on his right foot. An excellent play by McGuinness. He's blooming as a big... Uh, 
danger to the, to the Fitzroy team. And Tim Peake is trying to pick him up. But really, he's had about six or seven possessions already in the first quarter, and he's looking very good. Nine possessions, to be exact. Ball in the centre, Royal breaks clear a little bit too easily. Up towards centre-half forward. The bouncing ball collected by Wind for Fitzroy, out towards the wing. Chance for Cronin. Cap was there, but Cronin breaks clear. Kicks into the half-forward area. Free kick being given away. And it'll be taken for Fitzroy by Laurie. Cross to Pekin. Pekin into the centre. Mark taken for Footscray by Hanaberry. He does look all right, Hanaberry. First senior game for the season. Inside half-forward. Beasley stays at the back. McGuinness, here he comes for number 10. Beautiful hand pass to Beasley. On he goes. And a goal coming up here. No, just offline. Yeah, it's and a bad miss, that one, Drew. Liberatore. I'm, I'm struggling with Petraglia and Liberatore. 38 to 39. <laughs> Pretty easy. Handball over the top to Wind. Wind just in the clear. Kicks it close to the boundary line. And a certain amount of disgust on the face of Kapler as it goes over on the full, and the free kick will be taken by Cronin. Eight left-footers, I make it, in this Footscray side, which would nearly be a Guinness Book of Records. The ball at half-forward, play on. Up towards full-forward, Beasley, it's at the back, and kicked through for a behind by the Fitzroy defender. Footscray, 1-5, 1-6-12, lead Fitzroy, 1-1-7, and we've played nearly 23 minutes in the first quarter. Gee, they're like South Australia the other night. They've had all the play. Can't get the points on the board. They lead by just five points. Comes to the back of the pack. Knight doing all right. To centre half forward. Uh, poor kick this time. Eppleston, who's been starring this year. He's played all games for Footscray. And he's come from one of the, the most unfashionable uh, teams into the VFL. I don't think anybody's ever come from there before. Wrong, wrong. What's it called? Woodside. Up towards centre half forward and Ruse takes the mark. Guy can't even say it. One wrong. <laughs> South Gippsland, a top little area. Over to Leon Harris by Ruse. Harris at half back, kicks it long to half forward. Over the top, Osborne can't control it. Eppleston there again. Keep it in, he does. Trying to get it clear. Thomas the tackler. Umpire Robinson decides on a bounce. The ball about 55 metres out from Fitzroy's goal. The Bulldogs lead by five points. Purser out wide. McIver can't break clear. Chance for Royal. Kick around the corner has been marked by Thornton. Just about into time on. It'll be a short quarter. Just a goal apiece. Wallace at the back dragged over when he didn't have it by Thomas. And... The umpire didn't see it that way and is going to call for the boundary throw-in. Purser gathering, Stevens for Fitzroy. Barwick can't gather. Baxter, that's Darren Baxter on the bottom of it. Another one of the unsung heroes here at Footscray. And they're doing well. They lead by five points, approaching time on in the first quarter. Purser doing the ruck work again over the top and he's put, given a free kick away Stevens for Fitzroy inside 50 metres will shoot for goal Brett Stevens first year at Fitzroy this year from East Perth aim it a bit left and you'll be alright he's done that I think it's home for a goal just made it and Fitzroy have hit the front against the trend of play. It's an excellent kick for goal by Brett Stevens. Not easy to kick. He would have been kicking into the, sl the slight breeze coming across the ground. So he had to make sure that he kicked it out far enough to the left to let the breeze drag it back again. But here's a free kick that he got in the ruck. It's against Purser. May have been for holding the goons and slightly, but the umpire would have had to have pretty good eyesight to pull that one out. The ball at half forward. 
Fitzroy defence. Armstrong kicks the ball off the ground and it goes over the boundary line for a throw in between wing and half forward, slightly favouring the Bulldogs. They trail now by a point. Inaccurate kicking by the Bulldogs in the first quarter. And there's the siren. It's quarter time at the Western Oval. Fitzroy lead by a point. There, 2 1 13. Footscray, 1 6 12. Goal kickers for Fitzroy, Keane and Brett Stevens, and for Footscray, Tony McGuinness.